But I want your opinion on. Let me see if you can help me think through the uh, the wire I'm using okay. um, for the outlets. Okay. And the issue I have, the main issue I have is that I had to buy this much of this wire anyway. Okay. But I bought a heavier duty wire for the outlets. Okay. Um, for a reason I'm about to tell you. But it costs about a hundred bucks. For that one little bit right there? Yeah. That one little roll is a hundred bucks? Yeah. And this was one twenty. Oh my gosh. For two hundred and fifty feet. Oh my. This would be enough to wire the whole bus. Okay. Just as far as quantity. But um but I got that because it's heavier duty and because that's what you're supposed to wire the outlets with. Hmm. Because it can handle the load if you plug in anything that has a high draw, you know, any type of appliance. Like for us, it would probably most likely be a heater. Unless or I brought a plug -in my electric heater. What if I brought my blender in or something? Uh, probably not. Okay. Maybe a vacuum cleaner. Hmm. Um, maybe like, I don't know, a refrigerator, no, air conditioner for sure. Right. Air conditioner or, uh. Okay. So basically, yeah. but we're not going to okay. have big appliances in here yet. Um, we could probably get away. We might get away with this, but that would be guaranteed. So it'd be my safer. Well, are we talking about fire? What are you talking about? What's the... I mean, ultimately, that's it. Um, if I put in circuit breakers, uh -huh. which I was looking at yesterday, but it, my brain started to get scrambled. Okay. And so I decided to just get the the rough-in wiring for the lights and outlets and then figure out the underneath power supply later. Mm -hmm. So it's been about 300 and... 30 bucks uh, Ouch. for this part of it. Okay. And then what the? getting the power onto the bus and into the wiring. If I put in a, a circuit breaker, you know, we'll be probably around another hundred or so. Oh, I know about enough to make me dangerous <laughs> when it comes to wiring. Okay. I'm sure. Uh, okay, so a heavier wire means bigger, like diameter wire. Okay, so more and power can go through. So it. it's like, it's like a bigger hose. Okay. W more water flows easily, more easily through it. Okay. Um, so, and the, the problem is, and a smaller wire has more resistance, and the big problem in our case is distance that it has to go. Okay. Uh, you get more and more resistance, and then when oh. resistance builds up, uh, resistance causes heat, heat to build up, and so that's the problem with wiring is is the heat too much heat builds up, and oh. ultimately the wire will. Uh, you don't have to worry about this if it's done right. This doesn't happen. Okay. But I mean, the wire will heat up, heat up, start to smoke. It'll turn bright red. It'll melt. Okay. Uh, ultimately, it'll melt. Um, okay. And then, or I don't then know. Then you have fire maybe problems, you could have maybe. A, at that point, if you melt the insulation off, maybe you could have a short out situation. Anyway, bad things would happen. Anyway, but that's why they put circuit breakers in your house. Because oh, they, they you detect could, oh. the load and they're there if, if there's too much okay. uh, of a load right. for it. That's what they're designed to do, is to just cut the power. Okay. So Good reason to put... It's going to complicate things, and it's an area I'm not real familiar with, but we can learn. So that would be a good reason to put a breaker box on the bus. Oh. Um, now, why the breaker at the other end of the extension cord, or wherever you plug into, why that's not adequate, I'm not sure. But maybe I'll have to ask an electrician. I use this type upstairs. Okay. You know, and we took the vacuum cleaner up there, and 
you know, we plug in a space heater. And I have my computers all up there. Things. I? Yeah, computer doesn't draw so much. Okay. But um, you know, and it didn't trip our breakers or, or anything. It seemed to no, and okay. I had I had the printer. Printer draws a lot. Yeah, there were some times when we'd blow a breaker. I don't remember exactly why, but anyway, that's if you have breakers, then that's about the worst that happens. Is it trips your breaker? And so the difference here is the distance, though, because we're having to run the power through an extension cord from somewhere. Right. And then um, before we even get to the bus. Right. Um, that's why if I use this and, you know, and then we try to plug in an electric heater, we may have, may have some problems. Okay. You know, if we have a big extension cord or it's not too long, we may not. It may be okay. It's just there's kind of a risk there. Whereas putting this in would be like the best I could do to make sure that doesn't happen. So you know, does like, do you have to have, still, but, do you have to have a breaker box if you use the that stuff, the yellow stuff? If we decided to keep it simple and just plug our system directly in and just trust the circuit breaker. At whatever house we're plugging into, the outlet. Okay. Um, then I would definitely want to use that just to make sure, you know, just to do all we could to. But would that to not create too much resistance? But would that have a breaker box too? Um, well, we, well, we could do both. And ultimately, we should. It's like when we plugged the heater in here before, we ran an extension cord. And right. the heater didn't work. Right. Because the extension cord was too small. Okay, Remember? that's right. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I ran this one out. And you can get even bigger than that. But I mean, that's why I ran this one out, and then it worked okay. And so we could look at, you know, one way to look at it, the cheap way, would be that all of our outlets and lights and everything are just basically you know, like putting a splitter on the extension cord and plugging mm -hmm. lights and things right into that. And it would just be a way to make it more convenient by having outlets and stuff. Um, so, I, I don't know. I'm just, <laughs> I'm like, so in the future, what if we decide to put a refrigerator and stuff in here? We're gonna have to rewire everything or rethink this um, completely or what is a better uh, what's the best option for a future application that would be the reason to use that is that you'd be more prepared for plugging more things in okay. in the future now the supply at some point would become an issue where running this to a house would not be adequate right and we need a heavier and if in doubt ask a professional well is there anyone we know jay who walks his dog by here is no is a professional uh, nutrition yeah that's right. and but yet yeah, i know i'm going to be doing some things here that yeah would not be you know that <laughs> i'm going by the book frown at, <laughs> like how the wiring has to be routed yeah okay the real basics of ohm's law compared to water is okay. The pipe size and the faucet itself are restrictions to the flow of water. Okay. So that's like the resistor in electricity. Resistance. Okay. Current is the water that actually flows through. How much is flowing regulated by how much resistance there is. Okay. Pressure in the water system is voltage. It's how much pushes behind what you're trying to get to flow. Okay. okay. Um, cool. The basics of it are if you draw yourself a triangle, mm -hmm. on the very top of the triangle is voltage, at the mm -hmm. bottom of the triangle split in half, one side is current, one side is resistance. Voltage divided by resistance gives you current. Voltage divided by current gives you resistance. Voltage okay. times current gives you voltage. Okay. So, yeah, I remember that one. Okay. Voltage, yeah. 
And then you said something about power. And, and power is the fourth element of it all because voltage and current multiplied gives you wattage. Power is wattage. Okay. Power is wattage. Okay. So in my case, I was saying I got, I'm putting on one circuit. Um, this will be my 15 amp circuit is what I was thinking. Mm -hmm. I got 18 little hockey pucks LED lights. At seven watts a piece. And it's, it says on them, yeah, it says max seven. Which is the so maximum seven. they'll ever draw. Yeah. Unless something badly happens and they trip the fuse. Yeah. Or break it. So I got a dimmer proof for LED. It says 150 watt. So that's okay. what, so I figured the 126, seven times 18 is, is 126. 126. So you're so under the 150 watt there. maximum there. Which okay. is good. That's perfect. Okay. And I'm wiring them in parallel. Mm 